Let's talk about one of the most controversial candidates in the 2024 primary field, the Democratic presidential primary. I'm talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Now, as a reminder, Bobby Kennedy Jr. is the son of Robert F. Kennedy. Robert F. Kennedy was assassinated while running for president. An extraordinarily gifted politician was Robert F. Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy Jr. is also the nephew of former President John F. Kennedy, who was, of course, also assassinated while serving as president. So Bobby Kennedy comes from this political dynasty that has impacted American political history for a very long time. Environmental lawyer, activist who has fought for clean water and renewable energy and climate justice, has a long record of advocacy for really important issues, poverty, civil rights, health care, democracy, things that he truly inherited from his late father, uh, Robert Kennedy. And he's a super interesting candidate and a nice guy who I've met. I had dinner with. We have many friends in common. And also, he has become a very powerful anti vaccine voice. He says he's not against vaccines, but simply for tested and safe vaccines. But when we actually look at the disinformation that he has spread, not only about vaccines, but also talking about hydroxychloroquine as if it's proven to work for COVID. I mean, there's a long list of concerning stuff from Bobby Kennedy Jr. He's made concerning comments about. Russia and Ukraine taking the some, some sort of strange, softly pro Putin perspectives. He has talked about um, uh, he's actually talked about gay frogs. I'm talking about Bobby Kennedy Jr. here, not Alex Jones. Um, and he also I mean, just like as another example, he's made wild, unsubstantiated claims about China. He recently said on Newsmax of all places that China is developing a racist bioweapon that targets people based on ethnicity. Listen to this. But what, what I worry about is, is a WMD like a virus, like a gain of function, something. Do you, do you worry about that? Because I see that as sort of the next, the next big fight because, you know, those viruses don't see any borders and, uh, and they're relatively cheap to do this gain of function. I mean, it's just so, you know, that's what I worry about more than the big hardware. Yeah, you're exactly right. And we know that the Chinese are developing ethnic bioweapons, bioweapons that are designed to attack people of certain racial types. And the and we're doing the same thing. We OK, so does he provide any evidence that that's happening? He does not. Is there any evidence that I was able to find? No, I was able to find some conjecture about this from last month, also without evidence. But I was not able to find any evidence that that's going on. Is it possible that you could make a racist bioweapon? It might be possible. So so like a, an ethnic bioweapon, hypothetically, which targets people of specific ethnicities or races or genotypes could conceivably be created. But experts and officials say it, it's it's not totally clear that you could do it. Uh, you might be able to genetically engineer some pathogen to target DNA markers that are specific to some racial or ethnic group. Maybe like maybe it could be done. Another possibility would be like a gene therapy that creates a virus to target particular DNA sequences. But there are many forget about the ethical challenges. Let's assume the ethics go out the window. There are some insane technical challenges to do this. And one of them is the one that often comes up in debates about IQ. There is such genetic diversity within ethnic groups that such a technology would be extremely difficult to actually do what it, I'm not saying it's impossible, but right now, extreme hurdles and no evidence that it's being done. But Bobby Kennedy says, oh, this thing is happening. Another example, Bobby Kennedy Jr. is hosting a so-called health policy roundtable featuring unhinged conspiracy theorist Sherry Tenpenny. Sherry Tenpenny is this um, uh, uh, person. I, I, we, I don't want to get into the whole osteopathy thing. Again. She, she's a, 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 an individual who happens to be an osteopath who has um, made all sorts of insane claims about everyone you know is soon going to be dead from the covid vaccine and uh, all of these other things. So 
how do we what do we make of Bobby Kennedy Jr.? Is he a viable challenger to Joe Biden? Should we support or oppose him? For me, the, the, the situation is pretty clear. Bobby Kennedy Jr. is articulate, articulate and smart. He delivers really powerful speeches, even with the struggles of, of his voice with a, a spastic dysphonia. He still delivers very powerful speeches. He uh, appeals to emotion and reason in a way that clearly resonates with people. He has a personal story and a family legacy that can be inspirational to voters. He's right on many issues. When you look at health care and Green New Deal, uh, minimum wage, criminal justice reform, voting rights expansion, uh, ending wars, Bobby Kennedy Jr. is right on many issues. On the other side, he is dangerously unhinged in some areas. The promotion of unproven conspiracy theories, the pseudoscience, this stuff really undermines some of the core structures that go towards public health and national security. Um, he seems disconnected with reality, quite frankly, on some of those issues. He will often attack fellow Democrats who happen to disagree with him on some of these issues. He's supported by a super PAC tied to MAGA. He seems to be gaining support from folks on the right who see him merely as a chaos agent, potentially to derail Joe Biden and put a hardcore right winger in the Oval Office. So. On the one hand, there is much to like about Bobby Kennedy Jr. In some sense, I would love to support the guy, um, but based on his current positions, uh, I don't think that that's something that I can do. I also don't think he can win the nomination nor the general election uh, with the views that he has. He may be able to he may be able to damage Joe Biden, um, but I don't believe that he has a path to the Democratic nomination. Nor am I convinced at this point that he would have a path to the presidency if he somehow got on the ballot. Let me know your thoughts. I am not just laughing him off. I'm actually giving you a, a more nuanced perspective than some are willing to give about Bobby Kennedy Jr. But at this point, it doesn't seem like in its totality, it's something that I can support.